This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Fully apply the handbrake. Place chocks each side of the rear wheel diagonally opposite to the wheel to be removed. Using the special anti-theft wheel nut adapter where necessary, slacken each of the front wheel nuts half a turn. Place the head of the jack under the front subframe rear mounting point and raise the vehicle until the wheel is clear of the ground. Position an axle stand under the reinforced section of the door sill flange and remove the jack. Fully slacken and remove the wheel retaining nuts. Remove the front wheel. If there is wear or a rust lip around the edge of the disc, use a large screwdriver to lever the pads away from the disc face. Using an open-ended spanner to counterhold the guide pin, undo the lower guide pin bolt and pivot the caliper upwards. A new bolt will be required. Pull the outer brake pad from the mounting bracket, followed by the inner brake pad. Measure the thickness of the brake pad friction material. If any pad is worn below the minimum thickness, all four front pads must be renewed. Use aerosol brake cleaner and a soft brush to remove all dirt and debris from the caliper mounting bracket. If new pads are being fitted, push the piston back into the caliper using a retraction tool. Keep an eye on the fluid level in the reservoir as the piston is retracted. Check the guide pins slide easily in the caliper and the rubber gaiters are intact. Apply a thin smear of high temperature anti-seize grease to the pad mounting surfaces. Slide the inner brake pad into position on the mounting bracket. Ensure the friction material is against the disc face. Slide the outer pad into place on the mounting bracket. Pivot the caliper back down into place. Insert the new guide pin bolt and tighten it to the specified torque. Repeat this procedure on the remaining front brake then repeatedly depress the brake pedal to bring the pads into full contact with the discs. Before refitting the road wheels, use a wire brush or mildly abrasive cloth to clean the mating surfaces of the hub and wheel. Apply a little anti-seize grease to the hub and wheel surface prior to refitting. Locate the front wheel over the studs on the hub then refit the retaining nuts and lightly tighten them. Remove the axle stand and lower the vehicle to the ground. Tighten the road wheel nuts to the specified torque and remove the wheel chocks. Open the passenger's front door and pull the bonnet release handle. Open the bonnet a little, lift the safety catch and fully open the bonnet. The brake and clutch fluid reservoir is located at the rear of the engine compartment. The fluid level should be between the max and min level marks on the reservoir and should never fall below the min level. If topping up is necessary, wipe the area around the filler cap with a clean rag, then unscrew the cap. Carefully add fluid, avoiding spilling it on the surrounding paintwork. Use only DOT4 hydraulic fluid. Mixing different types of fluid can cause damage to the system and a loss of braking effectiveness. After filling to the correct level, refit the cap securely and wipe off any spilt fluid. Close the bonnet firmly to ensure the locking catch engages.